So some other things and tips and points is toxins, right? So we're all exposed, unfortunately, to so many toxins. Um, and without getting into a whole debate about this, but this is why, in my opinion, you are finding that there's more things like cancers going around and um, all sorts of things. Unfortunately, where we're at right now in our, on our planet, it's a very sad state of affairs, but we are exposed to so many toxins and we're getting it in our food, we're getting it in the air and we're putting things on our body that we're not being mindful of. So without coming from, I'm not at all coming from a place of judgment and saying, I'm so heavenly and pure and I breathe in filtered air and my water goes through 18 filters before I drink it. I'm not coming to you like that at all. I'm coming from a very non-judgmental place and saying to you that the average woman is exposed to about 80 to 120 toxins just in her morning routine, just from washing her face, putting on a face cream, putting on deodorant, um, putting on makeup. Some of the most toxic things in your home are makeup, deodorant, I don't think South Africa uses this this much, but what I do know you guys use is fabric softeners. Those things are horrid. So your stay soft and such, your laundry detergent, and yay, because Young Living is bringing you a laundry detergent. Hooray for that. So that should be there by the end of March, I'm being told. So these things are full of toxins. So if you can just start making some switches to some non-toxic stuff, it's going to make the world of difference. So again, I'm not saying, I find that there's kind of two groups of people. The one that their eyes are completely open to what they are exposed to. And really, I know that it does seem like a little bit of work up front to kind of start being a label reader. But if you're not understanding what's in your bottles and on your labels, and unfortunately, nobody out there is doing this job for us and keeping us safe. So unfortunately, there are some really horrible toxic products that are very easily available um, at clicks, at Dischem, at Woolworths, and these things are full of toxins. And so just a quick touch on this is look out for words like perfume. If it says perfume, that is a code word for hidden toxins, okay? So anything that says perfume, not good. Anything that says scented as or scented with is telling you meetings on at the moment in here okay i don't um, know. stay yet one sec let me mute you all okay anything that is saying um laundry detergent scented as lavender or scented with that is saying there's something synthetic in here that's trying to smell like lavender guys why aren't they putting lavender in there let it be infused with lavender essential oil that's what we want so some of the changes that you can do right now is look at what things are in your house that you're exposed to. And we'll do another class on this, um, all about changing things over. And definitely as you get the thieves line in South Africa, I'm going to educate you and also teach you guys some awesome tips and tricks with how to maximize those products. But here's one that you should definitely switch out as soon as possible. It is the household cleaner. So this is available in South Africa right now. It's the Thieves Multi-Purpose Cleaner. And this stuff is phenomenal for windows, for floors, for doors, for your baby's high chairs, all of these things. And it is so simple to make. So now a lot of people look at this and they're like, oh wow, that is, and I need to do the maths right now, but this is $22. Sorry, I'm still in very much in dollars. Um, so someone can write on our chat here how much this is in rands. But you need to shift your thinking and know that all Young Living products are highly concentrated, okay? Even our essential oils have gone through a one-time distillation process, meaning they're not diluting out the essential oil. Nothing is diluted. So it's very potent. So when I make this in my house, all I'm doing is putting one capful of this, one capful, into a 500 ml bottle, so you just buy a glass bottle and supplies wise, you can get these on Hello Bottles. Tamsin is running Hello Bottles. So if you want to know more about that, feel free to ask, but you can also get them at Delgan, at um, Essentially Natural. I mean, there's many places that you can buy some glass bottles. You do want to use glass because it is infused with 
essential oils. And whenever we're using essential oils, we prefer to use glass or stainless steel. This is also why our diffusers are also a very good quality. Even though it's a plastic, it's a medical grade type plastic. So it's not going to leach the toxins and pull that from the plastic. This is also a safe plastic, by the way. So what a lot of people also do is they might use this as their spray bottle. And you can actually just empty the contents of this into like a mason jar or a glass jar and leave just one capful, fill the rest with water. So I'm gonna show you the other way around. I would have put one capful of this into my glass bottle and the rest is water. And then I'm gonna take my spray trigger and put that in and give it a little bit of a shake for the first time around. Um, these labels are really cute. You can also get them in Hello Bottles. So, um, but yeah, you can also just do a washi tape or write your you know, permanent marker, whatever you want to label it. And the best thing about this with you guys, with babies and little ones, this is non-toxic and safe to use around them. So you can spray and clean a high chair while your baby's even eating their food. It's not a problem. Um, do you know in this country, Poison control here knows about Young Living. They knows about our. They know about our products so much so that if someone calls and they say, "Oh my gosh, my baby got hold of my essential oils and they just like somehow ingested a bit of the lemon oil," the first question they ask is, "Which, which essential oil is it?" And if you say, "Oh, it's Young Living," don't worry, your baby's going to be just fine. Literally, it's that clean. Same with this. Now, I don't recommend that you leave this out in the open and let your baby have some swigs of this. No. But it's pretty cool to know that we don't need to baby proof in my house where all, I don't have a bin of toxins in my house that I don't want the baby to get into and get hold of. So, you know, I don't want to go to the extreme and say I don't um, keep that cupboard closed and keep that stuff out of reach. You do need to keep our stuff out of reach and your essential oils. But the, the awesome thing is if they got hold of this, they're going to be okay. All right. Because there's no toxins. It's just that you know, we don't want it in high amounts of them consuming this, which more than likely you're doing a good job at being mindful of not keeping it out there. So this product is fantastic to use for babies, for pets. The other cool thing is it's infused with Thieves oil and Thieves is our immune boosting oil. So not only are you cleaning your house, you are literally, when you're walking on your floors barefoot, your feet are absorbing the good properties of this product. So you're actually getting an immune boost when you're cleaning your house, which is pretty amazing. And you know how, unfortunately, we're told, you know, when you're pregnant, don't be cleaning because there's fumes and toxins. Well, no, you can totally clean when you're pregnant. So sorry, ladies, if you were loving that excuse to not clean when you're pregnant. But the cool thing is you can use this around you and your toddlers and your babies and your pets. You know, your pets with their little paws running around on the floor, and then they're licking their feet because that's what animals do well now they're not exposed and licking these toxins that are on so many other products that your animals are, are all over as well so it's quite cool that it's beneficial to them too all right so let's move on to which i know you guys are wanting to learn how can i use my essential oils for my babies and my toddlers and my children so i love this it's so exciting i'm so into delayed gratification so i've kind of tried to save the best for last okay so when I first got started, unfortunately, I did not have essential oils when I was pregnant. I'm still like sad about it, but I'm so grateful that we did get them when we did and have my, our lifestyle is completely different. It's, it's so different. What, what my house looked like just four years ago to how it looks today is pretty amazing. And the changes for me are we don't go to the pediatrician office much at all. Okay. Not because... Um, I don't want to, but because we don't need to, and it's amazing. And so we have saved so much money on pediatrician visits. We have been lucky enough to really avoid antibiotics. We pretty much, I mean, the last one I can think of was actually my daughter, which I tried to do essential oils. She had like a bladder infection, but that one, I just didn't want it to become a kidney infection. And I did try, and we did a pretty good job with the oils up until it reached, um, you know, <laughs> thanks, Del. I'll talk about that in a second. <laughs> no third. Um, until it reached a point where I'm like, okay, you know what? I can tell that this is now, I need to be dealing with it in another way. So we kind of say essential oils are such a fantastic first, first like 
line of defense to have in a home. And if you're finding that it's not working or it didn't work for this particular thing, okay, you know, of course, go to the pediatrician. And don't get me wrong, if my child runs outside in the street and trips and falls and lands on concrete and breaks her arm, I'm not going to say, oh, come in, honey, I've got a brilliant essential oil and that's going to heal that bone right up. No, I'm going to go to the hospital and I'm going to get her in a cast and I'm going to make sure she is going to get that bone healed. But I am going to use lavender and helichrysum and all the things to help and support to get this process, you know, smooth and easy. Um, so I just wanted to mention that to you guys that I'm not at all trying to claim that essential oils are here to you to like get rid of all the things. But what I can tell you is we have seen the hugest difference from in our family from using oils versus not. And I saw the biggest difference with two kids where I didn't use it with the first child because I didn't know until she was four or five. With the second child, I started before she was two and we were getting calls from the pediatrician office saying, hi, didn't your daughter just turn three? I'm like, oh yeah, she did. Well, you need to come in just for her well check. We want to test her hearing, her vision. So I started getting phone calls from the pediatrician office instead of me calling them and being on hold and trying to get an appointment to rush in because pretty sure it's another ear infection or whatever it is. So we really have the tools now to use and we do use them and I've seen the biggest difference. So without further ado, let's move into what can we use and do and make. So get your pens and papers out um, or your notes on your phone. And let me start with a simple one that's fun, that I love. Thank you, Carol. I see that good student. Carol loves to show me what she's doing. No, I'm kidding. I know you're just holding the phone and it's all good for you. Okay, so um, a spray. So a spray bottle. I love these for putting on the cot sheets um, and just getting baby ready for bedtime. So I like to make a sleep spray, okay? Wonderful for a baby because it's almost like it's diffused in the air. And when I work with clients, I often will come over to a new mom who's stressed out and losing her marbles, which I understand, we've all been there. And I will bring her this as a gift to help calm her and to help ease the baby into a nice, calm, relaxing sleep. So to make spray bottles, we're going to take a bottle. I believe, someone correct me if I'm wrong, is this a 30 ml or a 50 ml? It's about that size. So someone just type in the chat. I'm sorry, I like the conversion thing. I'm, I'm getting there. I'm almost, almost perfect, but not quite yet there. Um, so this is, you know, you can see the size of this bottle in my hand. And when we're making a spray bottle, what we need is witch hazel. Witch hazel is an astringent. It means that it helps oil and water to mix. So we need to have some sort of astringent to do that. Some people will use alcohol. I personally prefer witch hazel um, because I just do, and I think it's a little bit more gentle, especially around babies. But you can use alcohol if you wanted to. So you could actually use like a vodka um, if you didn't have witch hazel. When buying witch hazel, just look for, for a brand that is unscented and doesn't have any other, you know, just try and get the cleanest one that you can find. I know Essentially Natural Cell is a pretty good one because when I've come to South Africa, I've bought all the things there. I certainly wasn't going to bring the things from the States. So you start out with your spray bottle and you're going to put essential oils into the bottle first. So whenever making things, I know this is kind of hard to see, but you want to put it on a flat surface. Always put your bottle on a hard, flat surface. Then you're going to add your essential oils in there. So you're just going to hold up the bottle and let them drop in. And for the sleep spray, it's 10 drops of lavender. Then our um, witch hazel actually comes with a nice little small squirt spout. So I just do a squirt. I do not obsess. But for those of you that like to follow recipes to a tea, you just need about a teaspoon of witch hazel into your bottle. And you can and should use a funnel, which I bought. So here is a funnel, um, and you can put that onto your bottle, and then you would add your teaspoon and pop that in. If your liquid pools, which means it gathers and collects, you just need to lift it up to create some more air and then it's going to go right through. And then what you want to do is just grab some water in something with a pouring spout. And then you can fill up the spray bottle up until, you know, you reach the neck. We kind of call it the neck. So you see this is the shoulder of the bottle and it starts to go to the neck. Leave some room for those scientists out there 
for the theory of displacement because you know we're going to put this in and it needs some space for the liquid to move up okay so there we have our spray bottle this is such a lovely gift for new moms and for little ones so before using it you don't need to go mental over shaking it you can just do an up down and give it like a little mix and then just spritz and there you go and you can just spray it from you know if this was my crib sheet I would spray it from about this distance. So whatever that is to you guys, <laughs> like a, you know, just a, a decent space away. And um, you can do that just before the baby goes into the bed. There's nothing, lavender is quite a mild oil. So you're not gonna have any potential issues or respiratory issues or anything like that. So you're good to go with lavender. And this is how we make sprays. Um, this is also fantastic for new moms if your hair has been falling out. A lot of us lose a lot of hair around this area. So to help with that regrowth, you can make yourself a spray bottle. And that is going to have lavender and cedarwood and rosemary. Those are the three things. Now, I know, did rosemary just come? I totally forget. But do you have rosemary? No, right? If you don't, it's okay. Lavender and cedarwood just on their own is going to help for hair to grow. But ideally, we're going to put 10 drops of lavender, cedarwood, and rosemary for a hair growth spray. A lot of us call this the mermaid spray. And um, also really good for men that are possibly balding. So that's a nice one too. So they're probably balding from being stressed. You're balding from having a baby. And, you know, let's get everything back where it should be. So that's some nice spray bottle ideas for you guys with little ones. Um, other things that you could make or do are going to be ointments. Ointments, whenever we do an ointment, you need to know that we generally need a double boiler. Now, if you don't have one um, in the States, I swear I find this thing very difficult to find. I don't know why. So I just take a glass Pyrex dish and I put it into a pot with a little bit of water and I put it on low heat. And usually when we're making things, so this was my diaper rash cream actually, and how insane, how long this lasts. <laughs> I don't know how I still have this in my house, but now it's demonstration purposes. My child's four, I'm not using this anymore. So I'm actually gonna trash this, but I thought I'd bring it out to show you. I've kept it as display. Um, so what you need when you're making things like this are going to be coconut oil, the hard kind. You definitely need coconut oil. You're also going to need, and I actually don't have a specific recipe, but there are such beautiful recipes in this book. <clears throat> so we do have some of these available at Hello Bottles, I believe. But if not, I am trying to get them there. Unfortunately, this coronavirus has just been a virus in my brain because of how annoying all the things are to get things to where they need to go. So it's just been a bit of a messy puzzle that I'm trying to get the pieces together to get more things to you guys. But we will get there. So there are beautiful recipes in oil and glass, but please know that you can go to our, here, I'm going to share the screen. You can go and look on our Hello Essentials page. So if you are not in this group, you need to tell your enroller, who is the person who helped you get started with oils right now, to help you get in this group because you need to be invited. So it's a secret group. You can't look for this group you can't search it but if you want to make sure if you are in here just type hello essentials and again this is going to be different to hello essentials south africa this is the group that i created myself and it relates specifically to south africa but the hello essentials one that i'm asking you to be part of has 35,000 members so you know this is the correct one when it's just hello essentials look how cool this group is you can search okay over here remember it's called diaper rash okay so you can search here for whatever the thing is that you want and you will find recipes and ideas of what to do. Now, don't feel frustrated. Like for example, here lots of people are saying, rose ointment, this is all you need. Great. There are going to be recipes for making your own, okay? Like here's one, diaper ash cream. Um, so you will find recipes. And again, I should have probably written diaper ash recipe. So you will find recipes and such. So I always say to people, sit with a pen and paper when you are searching for a recipe. And this is also going to go beyond babies and kids. You can search for anything that you want. So if your Aunt Mary has psoriasis 
and wants to know a little bit more about oils, I totally spelled that wrong, but okay, let me do something easier, something I'm dealing with myself, tinea versicolor, it happens to be like an annoying um, fungal rash, which by the way, I'm on day three of using a recipe that I just found, almost completely gone, completely gone. Um, so yeah, this is, you know, some recipes that you would look here. And the best way to do this is just read what people are saying in the top about what their symptoms are and match the one that sounds the most like yours and write down some recipes. I like to read through like three to five, and then I just choose one that kind of makes the most sense for me based on whatever I'm seeing. Most of the times you will see that a lot of the same stuff comes up and that's kind of an indication you're on the right track, okay? The other thing is with all of these recipes and you guys being in South Africa, when I also got started in the beginning, I did not have all the oils, okay? But I did start to make a list for my essential rewards to add the things that were coming up a lot, like Melrose is a fantastic oil with little ones, great for preventing eczema, great for any kind of skin stuff going on. So that was one that was on my list for little ones. So this is something that I like to do is go through some recipes and then make a note of what I'm wanting to add to or to get. But the other thing is you can make recipes, even if it's calling for lavender gentle baby and melrose you're like oh we don't have gentle baby it's okay just leave that out you're still going to get the benefit of the recipe all right so that is like an ointment so when we're doing ointments usually we're needing a double boiler and ointments that i made personally right away was a nappy rash one and the other one was a um, chest one because vix happens to be quite toxic and the chest one is so simple. You actually don't even need a double boiler for the, the chest rub. You just need to take like a quarter cup of coconut oil and you can add either RC or Raven. And depending on the age of the child, it's anywhere between three to 10 drops of RC or Raven. And then you wanna add like a drop or two of peppermint as well. And in this instance, what I like to do is plop that coconut oil into a stainless steel or ceramic or glass bowl. And then I use a fork to whisk it. And then I add the essential oils to that. And I use the fork again. You'll notice it will soften the coconut oil a decent amount. Then you're gonna transfer that into a glass dish and you're gonna use it in whatever jar or thing you want, even an old jam jar that you recycle and clean and use. And you wanna make sure that it is tightly secure and that's how you're keeping that, okay. So that was something, the nappy rash and the um, chest rub I made right away. Another thing that I wanna recommend for you guys to do right away is baby oil. And this is also such a great gift to give to people, super easy. So you can use the MCT oil or you can use the hard coconut oil. It's about two tablespoons of that. And you wanna add five drops of lavender mix it up. Now again, if you have your baby at home, you could make this into a roller. I love how I'm demonstrating. Oh, here's a roller. Here's my roller. Um, you could actually put this into a roller and you can roll it on your baby and then use your hands and give them a nice massage after the bath. So that is a great way to do it. Or if you want to gift it to someone, you could also make it in a big batch and put it into a jar. So there's no right or wrong. It's just that we use these for more on the go purposes and it's up to you if you prefer to use it in that but if you are using a roller bottle you must use the liquid carrier oil and again i prefer the mct one because it doesn't have a fragrance a little side note for tired mommies black bags under your eyes this comes up a lot so an eye serum for you guys is in a 10 ml roller you can add 10 drops of frankincense and 10 drops of lemon but please use we say jojoba oil. You guys, I believe, say jojoba oil. And we want to use jojoba on our face because we don't want our um, pores to clog. So our face is a bit more sensitive than you know, a baby's body. For a baby, you can use coconut oil all over them from head to toe. It's going to be a fantastic oil. But for us, our faces don't really like that coconut oil anymore. And so it will clog and we might get a few pimples from that. So please change any oils you wanna use on your face. The carrier must be jojoba oil, okay? 
So that is a lovely oil. And a quick little note on the ICRM one, you want to use it at night because lemon essential oil is photosensitive, meaning it's going to attract the sun and will potentially cause pigmentation or even a burning sensation. So any of our citrus oils, we need to keep it outside of the sun. Um, same with when we store our oils, we want to store them outside of direct sunlight. This is also why they're in an amber colored bottle to prevent the UV rays from penetrating and wanting to make your oil evaporate, okay? So there are some other little ideas for you. Here's some, some more tips and tricks. Are you ready? Pens and papers out, let's go. Um, Ningxia Red, do you all know about Ningxia Red? This amazing drink that we have, amazing. So let me just show you a quick thing about Ningxia. Um, do you all have access to this? lookbook. It's a digital copy. If you don't, please, I'm going to post this into our chat right now. Oh, wait, am I sharing my screen? I think I am. No, I was not. Sorry, I will share the screen. So we have, let me write this to everyone. Um, we have a digital lookbook. And in this lookbook, we have got lots of ideas too for um, babies and pregnancy and all the rest of it. So open that up and the password is lookbook small v2, which I can type out for you guys. And my advice is copy that little password before you actually click to open up this digital book. So I, I just skipped over to the pages and here we are with pregnancy, birth and breastfeeding. And there's some beautiful ideas here about birth, and breastfeeding and what you can use and do. Yes, we have a seedlings line in the States and I'm hoping it will come to South Africa and we do have KidSense um, as well, but what you guys have, we can still use and we just make our own. Um, this page over here is a great one to read through, which is safety guidelines, so helpful. So all the things I was talking to you about are kind of in the beginning, please read this, super important page. And then what I was talking to you about right now is Ningxia Red. So Ningxia, here it is, is incredible for children with autism or any kind of spectrum issues because what Ningxia Red is, and we explained it here, it's pronounced Ningxia, it's a powerful superfood drink that contains whole wolfberry puree, a puree. So, you know, wolfberry is like a goji berry, okay? It's a species of goji berries. It's grown in the Ningxia province of China and are crazy high in antioxidants. It's for everyone. It's safe for all ages, pregnant women and kids. If you are breastfeeding and feeling drained, tired, exhausted, needing to rehydrate, you need to be having Ningxia daily, okay? If you are suffering any kind of fibromyalgia, pain thing, immune, um, lots of people have these autoimmune diseases, which again are something that come up more and more often, um, which you know I start to wonder about the quality of all the things that we have. But anyway, Ningxia Red, one to two ounces in a day for you. Your little baby from truly six months old on can be having one ounce, which is about the size of one shot or one tot glass amount. Totally safe and fine for them. And they'll love it, by the way. It's super sweet. It's delicious. So we have that in my family. Everyone loves it. My kids ask for it. And I find that if I'm like on the verge of getting sick, I will double my dose and have it twice a day. Ningxia Red is a powerhouse. Add it to your ER. You want this in your family. I promise. It's something you all need and we should be taking daily. Okay, let's